Recently chatting with a Microsoft sales rep about Windows versus Linux, I was forwarded to the Microsoft Compare site. From the information presented, there is a high probability non-technical users will be misled into thinking that Windows is easier to use than Linux. In this example, I will show a simple file copy and why I feel that users will be misled. First, we'll look at Windows. We'll go to My Documents. Here's our sample file. And what we'll do is we will move it to the desktop. And then we'll move it back. See, this is super easy. Now, let's show how the Microsoft Compare site has been showing things in Linux. First, we open a terminal window. Then what we need to do is go to the directory that holds our file. And here's our file. Now let's move it to the desktop. And there it is. Let's move it back. And now it's back. To most users, they would look at this and see, wow, Windows is so much easier. It's just point and click. Uh, me, being a Linux guru, I actually prefer the text and typing this out. Uh, to me, I find I have much more control over this. But what the Microsoft Compare site is missing is non-technical users aren't going to do all this typing. What they're looking for is a nice GUI screen. So if we go to Documents in Linux, here's our file. We drag it to the desktop, and we can drag it back. It's just as easy to use this in Linux as it is in Windows. Now, let's go back to our Windows machine. Here's something that probably most Windows users haven't seen before. Here's our command window. So let's go to the My Documents folder. Okay, now let's move our file to the desktop. Now, as we can see, there's our file. Windows and Linux both have the same ways of doing things, uh, but I find that the Microsoft Compare site fails to show uh, the best possible solutions on both sides. They tend to only show the best possible solution in Windows and the worst possible solution in Microsoft, er, Linux. So just to any user out there who is going over this Microsoft Compare site, looking for whether they should go with Linux or they should go to Windows, I suggest that you look it over, but don't stop there. Look at a Linux site. Look at other distributions of Linux. There are other possibilities out there, and Microsoft is not going to show you all of those possibilities.